Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer and welcome to your, I believe, 15th or 16th Microsoft Visual C Sharp tutorial. Uh, I don't know, you can correct me in the comments if you want, but uh, it'll be up in the title. So if you guys hear any background noise, like major background noise, that's because there is construction going on right outside my house. Um, and it's kind of been getting on my nerves because I have to park down the street from my house and walk all the way up here. But, uh, oh well. So this is going to be a fairly short tutorial. And it's basically how to um, exit out of a new while loop or a while loop um, before the condition is met. So let's say something happens in the loop and uh, once that thing happens you want to go ahead and get out of the loop even if the condition isn't met. So what you can do is let's go ahead and we'll run this uh, just so you can see what happens. Um, it runs to 26. Now I'll show you basically what I did. Uh, this is from the previous tutorial. like Visual C Sharp is screwing up. Here's my uh, Visual Basic tutorials that are on the new Boston. If you were wondering what those videos were, um, I can't actually upload those to my channel um, because of an agreement I had with him, uh, but I wish I could. Um, anyway, um, I created a variable called x and set it equal to 23. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And I went ahead and wrote to the console um, the value x. And now, while x is less than 20, it's going to go ahead and add 3 each time. So let's set this equal to 0 to begin with. So while it's less than 20, it's going to add 3 to it and then write it out. So let's say um, we want to exit, exit this before it, it is equal to 20. Now, like I said, you may be wondering why this is stupid. You could just change this value up here. Well, there's a couple things you might run into it um, later on that could... Um, make you want to do this. So basically what you need to do is, in my case, I'm going to use an if statement. So let's just say if x equals equals, let's say, 17, oh wait, it's not going to get to 17, let's do 15, then what do we want to do? Well, we're just going to use the keyword break. Now you may remember this from our switch statement tutorial. Um, what break basically does is whatever it's in, um, a loop, a switch statement, a, a for loop, whatever, you can use the keyword break and it will send it down to the end of the loop, end of the loop and go on to the next line of code. So what this is going to do is it's going to um, write out x, with this, which is 0, then it's going to add 3 to it, it's going to print out 3, then 6, then 9, then 12, but then right here it's going to say, oh, x is equal to 15, let's go ahead and break. So it's going to stop at the 12 value. So you can see here we've got 0, 3, 6, 9, and 12. And once it was equal to 15, it will it broke out of the loop and it ended the program. Or well, it paused it because of our console.read line. And when I press enter, it ends the program. So go ahead and uh, practice breaking out of while loops. You can do this with do loops. Um, do while loops. And um, once you're familiar with that, it's a very simple concept. Go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. 